My grandmother's 1925 version of Men Are Trash. Mm. There is no faith in a man, not even in a brother. So girls, if you must love, love one another. <laughs> <clears throat> Your grandmother was a lesbian. <laughs> What's up my beardos and weirdos? One topic here, and today we're diving into r slash owner friend, a subreddit where people just don't really get it. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Class of 2020. Hmm. Let's go! Yeah! You're too old for her. He's gay. He's like 25 and she's 16. Y he's gay. He is older than her and why are you insulting him? He is literally homosexual. <laughs> oh, Nas X. <laughs> I love that song. It slaps so hard. <laughs> but also, I mean, being gay is not an insult. Come on. <laughs> Aww. Lockdown has to stop. Grandson has been stuck in a tiny New York City apartment for six weeks with no one but his roommate for company. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. That's really cute. <laughs> From Aunt Pink. Pick up girlfriend. You need to stop going out with your friends! You are making your family look bad! I know your mom didn't raise you to be irresponsible! Um... That's my girlfriend. We live together. No! Uh, yeah, y'all met at Mary Sue's wedding. We've been together for almost two years? What? Oh. I thought you two were just friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, family members. <laughs> Hi, I'm gay! And they're like... Friends? <laughs> a Boston marriage was a New England term for a domestic partnership between two financially independent women throughout the 19th century and into the early 20th century. Oh, that is quite interesting, actually. I learned a new term. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Okay. Ooh, I want to learn some more of the stories around Boston marriages. <laughs> straight people. Fine, Sappho's friend wasn't just a friend. Also straight people. Sappho! Really a woman? Was Sappho really a woman? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Literally where the term lesbians came from. Was she really a woman? <laughs> oh my gosh. Comrades, Henry Scott Took, 1924. Two bros chilling at the beach, five feet apart because they're not gay. And they were comrades. <laughs> we're not gay, we're comrades. <laughs> we're just experimenting with camaraderie. <laughs> well, males are using homosexual behavior as a roundabout way to fertilize more females. When they take this cool, see how gay we are, they're gonna be all over us. <laughs> Respect my thoughts. Uh. <laughs> this was the metrosexual episode. Does anyone remember that term, metrosexual? That was an amazing time. Oh, you look kind of gay. You must be metrosexual. Helps pick up them ladies, am I right? <laughs> hey, I want to be a girl. I want to be a girl. It clearly says that he just wanted to be cute like a girl, not want to be a girl. <laughs> uh, oh no. Fam, you kind of missed the point of that one. <laughs> and today on Pictionary, we see two women loving each other. Oh, I see. Oh, it's business partners. Is it business partners? It's business pa It's Pictionary. You better put down. If I've got the right answer, you better be answer. It's business partners. <laughs> Flick and CJ from Animal Crossing are a couple if you want them to be. Animal Crossing, New Horizons fans, CJ and Flick are gay, deal with it. <laughs> I've seen so many memes about this, they're, they're roommates and business partners, and Nintendo came out and was like, mm, we should clarify, just in case anyone's offended. <laughs> <sighs> they seem pretty gay to me. <laughs> I drew some lesbians, and this is what my aunt replied to my story. <laughs> Aw, sisters. Mm. <laughs> ah, yes. Mm, very affectionate sisters. <laughs> Marlene Dietrich, openly identified as bisexual and allegedly has uh, adult fun time with notable stars like Anna Mae Wong and Claudette Colbert. She called her affairs with women sewing circles. <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> oh, I wonder how many people would look back at that and say, Oh, how was your sewing circle this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> mm, it's pretty good. <laughs> that Ricardo Corazon de Leon slept with the King of Friends doesn't mean he was gay. We can't interpret what was done 800 years ago with today's criteria. 
<laughs> Seems pretty gay to me. <laughs> Billions of insects are having gay adult fun time. Accidentally, say scientists. Oh, oh, it was by accident. Oh, 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 whoopsie. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> North Star's apparent lack of interest in women was implied to be due to his obsessive drive to win as a ski champion. And writer Bill Mantlow's later attempt to reveal- Oh, X-Men North Star, aww. <laughs> We're getting married! Oh, that's so sweet. Aww, good for you, North Star. I remember when this hit the news. This was like, oh, first gay wedding. Aww. Good for you, too. <laughs> Fifteen photos that Lin-Manuel Miranda and Jonathan Groff's friendship can't be beat. Buzzfeed. Uh... <laughs> they seem pretty friendly to me. <laughs> Historical figure. I enjoy having gay adult fun time with other gay people. <laughs> Historian. Like as a prank? Or <laughs> oh, I remember this tweet. I remember this. Oh, it's my boy Sorrow. <laughs> uh, hang on, hang on. Let me, uh, uh, I'll, I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. Give me a second. Yeah, okay, okay. Here's the tweet. Oh, there's my response! <laughs> ah, yes! As best friends do! Well, you see, historical figures showed their best friendship affection differently than we do today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, there is no hetero explanation for CJ taking up half of his letter talking about how much he loves watching Flick make art. You should have seen my partner work on this. Sometimes he just flows. It's fantastic. Anyway, here's your red snapper, fresh out of dry dock. Tell everyone how you landed it. <laughs> Oh, they do seem super affectionate. <laughs> That's so nice. How to find out if she's gay or only had adult fun time with you in, like, a, a friend way. <laughs> <laughs> is it really that hard to imagine her dad is gay, bisexual, and her stepdad is actually her dad's boyfriend? She lives with all three parents. <laughs> Wait, the dad and stepdad lives together? Whoa! Okay, but can we take a minute to appreciate how the dad and stepdad are friends and actually live together? <laughs> Lol. Okay, but her dad and stepdad get along and live in the same house? How's her mom in this story? The fool! <laughs> oh no. Gay parenting? What? <laughs> oh my! The phenomenon of bud adult fun time between straight rural men. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> Bestie goes AF. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, that's just kind of lovely. I really like that. That's so sweet. Tag your best friend. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> oh, yes, the pals. Oh, yeah, you see. <laughs> oh, he's in bed with Satan. Yes, the devil himself. <laughs> Quite an evil gentleman, if you do say so. If I, if we do say, if we do, it's super gay. Oh yes, evil gays <laughs> taking over the world. Oh my god. Old drawings of Satan are so interesting. Jillian Michaels enjoys Easter Sunday picnic in Malibu with kids Phoenix 7 and Lucanzio 10 and gal pal Deshana Minuto. And that's all they were, just a couple of gals out on the town. Just a couple of gal pals, nothing to see here. Just a couple of gals. <laughs> hmm, yes, a couple of gals indeed. <laughs> Mommy squad. <laughs> mm. Patrick and his childhood friend out on vacation this year. <laughs> Hashtag throwback Janet. <laughs> Just a couple of boys out for a walk. <laughs> They're so affectionate. I love it so much. It's so nice to see two grown men getting along together so well. <laughs> In the Middle Ages, the word girl was actually a gender neutral term for a child. Boys were called knave girls, and girls were called gay girls. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's really sweet. <laughs> it's a very nice drawing. It kind of freaks me out a little bit that the hand on the blue one looks like it's bent the wrong way. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> Bro Mountain. <laughs> 
Because they're, uh, <laughs> it's how bro cowboys do when they're on the bro mountain. The bro, bro, bro mountain. <laughs> this is like the article about the rural man and how the straight guys are having a gay adult fun time. <laughs> what? <laughs> when your video game waifu turns out to be a lesbian and you can no longer fantasize about having adult fun time with her. <laughs> 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 ah, yes, this great painting from France is actually called Boarding School Friends. Ah, and they're enjoying a very, uh, friendship-related embrace. <laughs> oh my, oh my goodness, her hand. Oh, okay, moving on. <laughs> it appears that my husband and I haven't managed to adequately explain our relationship to the children. They thought we were brothers? <laughs> Aw. One of my favorite stories that never made into the disc. Two women physicians who graduated from the University of Michigan Medical School lived together, traveled together, and never married. They are buried next to each other as medical classmates. Hashtag more than classmates. Aww, that's so nice and sweet that you get to be buried next to your best friend. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh my goodness. I want to hear more about this story. I should look this one up. That seems so nice. <laughs> Animal Crossing New Horizons official companion guide clarifies the relationship between Flick and CJ. Go Nintendo. Oh, oh, did you know CJ and roommates in business? Oh, they were roommates. Way to go, Nintendo. People are having fun. The LGBT community's desire for even the slightest representation frightens me, and so I must ruin their fun before they think they're allowed to have it. <sighs> Nintendo, you had a really good opportunity there, and you decided to go when I think is perhaps the wrong direction. I think an additional statement can be clarified in the future saying, ah yes, now that they spent this amount of time together as business partners and roommates, they realize there was more to the relationship and have a big old wedding sequence. That, that's my idea. I don't make video games. That shouldn't be that hard. Just write program a wedding and that's fine. <laughs> Lovers of Medina. Skeletons holding hands were both men. Researchers believe pair might have been siblings, cousins, or soldiers who died together. Oh, they were comrades. <laughs> Historians. Well, we don't want to say this is a love letter because men often expressed affections differently back then, so this person wasn't gay, they were just friends. <laughs> we don't want to jump the gun, as it were. Don't want to make any assumptions because you know what, you, what happens when you make an assumption, don't you? <laughs> the letter in question. Hey, babe, <laughs> I can't wait for you to- Oh! Me tonight. Ah, oh, man, I love you so much, dear husband. I love having amazing homosexual inner- Oh, goodness. <laughs> With you. I think of your face every time my wife makes me- f Oh! You are my soulmate. <laughs> I am gay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to know for sure. <laughs> it's not definitive proof. One letter. <laughs> <laughs> They've got to be on your friends list. Now, let's see who's nearby. Oh yes, the Cassini sisters! You know full well we're not sisters, we're married! Mrs. Cassini, this is the Doctor. <laughs> uh, okay, alright, tell me in the comments which one is your favorite Doctor of all time. I'll give you a hint. It's David Tennant. It's David Tennant. No, he's the best doctor, all right? Just <laughs> try arguing with me. I am a little bit behind on the show, so I haven't caught up on the newest doctor, but David Tennant is my favorite doctor. Also, do you remember that award show where he was getting an award just for being like a really good person and all of the people in his life were giving him awards for just being super nice and they all had commentary tracks about, ah, uh, <laughs> uh, David Tennant's the best. <laughs> Oh, oh, these dogs look like the ones that I, I said were best friends in a previous one and someone commented and saying, The original post actually says they're boyfriend-girlfriend, so... <laughs> oh, they look like such fun partners. Look at that, oh. One of them's definitely more affectionate than the other, just giving hugs all the way, but the other one's totally taking the accepting the hugs. They're just such good dogs. Oh, this is exactly what I want to do, just have a couple of dogs and travel the country. Actually, dog and a cat and the best friends, and we go on an adventure, and the dog wears a backpack and the cat sits in the backpack. I would love it so much. <laughs> I mean, it's also historically been a trend to assume that very, very clearly gay people were just good friends. Our slash Saf and our friend. Our favorite subreddit. <laughs> it's funny that you bring that up. <laughs> Saffel's case is another example of pop history gone too far. <laughs> Aside from the fact that the concept of orientation did not exist during her time, academic classes do not have any strong evidence at all 
Hull, she would be considered a lesbian. <laughs> Dude, Sappho's name is where the term sapphic and lesbian comes from. Lesbo's where she lived. She was a poet who wrote a lot of poems about women and about women loving women <laughs> in a romantic way. Ode to Aphrodite is about a woman asking Aphrodite if loving other women is wrong. To edit for correction, she loves a woman that does not love her back, so she asks Aphrodite with her help romancing her. <laughs> this is just like the other post. Is Sappho a woman? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I love it when people bend over backwards, it's so funny. <laughs> Do you ever think about how many people in history were attracted to people of the same gender? People you know, history book names, poets and authors and film stars and war heroes and kings, and you only learn about this years and years after you learn about them, and it socks you in the gut? Do you ever think about how it's this vicious cycle where these names from history are erased, these parts of people are erased so we don't even learn that it's possible that other people could be like this? And then you crush down the part of yourself that could be like this, because it's not a real thing. Everyone in history has been straight, and it's just you that's the anomaly. Like, this idea that being anything except straight is a brand new thing. Being gay was invented 20 years ago, and before that it was just books and books and books of women falling in love with men. But it wasn't. There were people like you. There were always people like you, and you can only learn this through scraps of paper passed under the table by other terrified kids on the internet. It breaks my goddamn heart, this erasing, these loves cut out, just in case a high schooler reading a history book looks at this and goes, oh. The fact that we go sifting through journals and poems and anecdotes looking for scraps of something that shows that these people who meant something to us could be like us, maybe. That poet really understands you. That actor might have really meant what they did on TV. This sad, desperate archaeology of need. <sighs> Dang, fam, that, that kind of hit me. <laughs> I like doing these videos. They're a lot of fun. They're also, in an odd way for me, maybe, pretty educational. I like reviewing a lot of these topics. I like going down the rabbit hole with a lot of these subjects. I also like making them a little bit fun because it's nice to know out there, no matter who you are or how you are or what kind of person you are, you're not alone. There's a lot of people out there that think like you, find the same kind of jokes funny, are looking for the same kind of romantic connection. I may be just some straight dude on the internet, but I think you're pretty cool. <laughs> All right, my beardos and weirdos, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me do next. Um, we'll see you in the next video, where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro! Hey, I want to be a girl. I want to be a girl. Oh, hang on, hang on. Editor's note. Uh, camera stopped.